Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back! Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Peace! Peekaboo, I see you, because I'm YouTube! Famous now! Available in 2021, the album, Dad, <clears throat> AF. Going off the rails on a crazy train! All right, let's get into this video. I took two days off from filming drama videos. Did you guys miss me? Today has been quite a day. Um, I went and got my coffee at Starbucks, and then I had to go to three different Taco Bells to review the very special drink that I reviewed for over on my review channel, so go please check it out. It is uploading right now. Um, I have really thought a lot in the last 24 hours about how I wanted to do this video. And um, today's video, this video specifically, is going to be about Jessie Smiles' video that she put out in response to Gabby Hanna and Gabby Hanna's video and all of that whole situation. And, you know, uh, in videos like this where I feel like what we're talking about is very, very serious, um, I typically don't for fans. I typically, you know, don't sing songs. Although, did you listen to the song? The song is going to be important at the end of the video, so please stick around because I have some things to say. There's a, there's a reason um, for that song at the end of this video. Um, but I, you know, and, I, and just watching all of this, I thought, you know, it's interesting. I was thinking about who we are as viewers watching YouTube, you know? And I just want to say this from the get-go. I have taken a lot of notes. I actually was, like, in bed last night, and I was trying to fall asleep, and it just, this kept on just, like, wearing at my soul, and I would have a thought, and I would write it down, and I would have a thought, and I would write it down. So I have a lot of notes um, about this whole situation, um, just in the, the video responses that I want to talk about. And some of the things I am just going to completely read straight off of my notes because I think it would probably just be a little bit more real that way. And the first thing I was thinking of was, um, you know, this whole idea of, <laughs> now I can't find it on my notes. Uh, where is it at when I was talking about, um, uh, oh, I said, instead of giving my opinion, I want to tell you how I feel, okay? And how I felt watching Jesse Smiles' response video and how I felt watching Gabby Hanna's video. And I said, I think that that's actually what YouTube is. Watching people sharing their lives and our relating or empathizing or judging with our feelings, their actions. And, you know, and I was really thinking about uh, this whole idea of YouTube and what we choose to put out on YouTube and what we, you know, and, and it is how much of it is a show and how much of it is entertainment and how much of it is exposing somebody and how much of it is defending ourselves. And all of this that it's like, you know, uh, Gabby Hanna refers in her video to the court of public opinion, all right? Uh, which I actually think is something important to talk about in relation to all of this. Because Gabby Hanna has not just entered the court of public opinion. Gabby Hanna has decided that she wanted to live in the court of public opinion with a series that she is putting out coming after one person and then after another person and after another person. And um, I just, the more it happens the more I'm just kind of like just mesmerized by all of this. And I want to say this at the beginning of the video. This is actually a note that I took. For those of you that come over here and, and you defend Gabby Hanna and you're like, but Gabby Hanna just wants her voice heard, don't you? Yes, we all want our voice heard at some point in our lives. But when you grow up and you mature a little bit, right? And you realize that even when you have had at times your voice heard or your story heard, what you realize is it doesn't really change a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. And I have said this time and time again in my videos, you know, would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? Now, I don't know how you Gabby Hanna stands and fans and I don't support who you want to. I don't know what you have witnessed from Gabby Hanna, but I have not witnessed a happiness at the result of her putting these videos out feeling vindicated. I don't feel like when I watch podcasts where she's shouting, I don't feel like she seems happy to me. Um, I don't see any kind of happiness in these videos. I don't see happiness around the people that she's with. And here's the reality, okay? Here's the reality. Is that all these people that she's talking about in her videos, you know, Joey Graceffa and Daniel Prada and the, the, the cast and crew of Escape the Night, they will go on and they will live happy lives, right? 
and uh, Jesse Smiles, at some point even, will be able to move through this traumatic expense, you know, a, a traumatic experience of having to be forced to relive over and over and over and over again, okay? At the insufferable exhaustion of Gabby Hanna, the trauma that she has gone through in her life. Jessie Smiles at some point will be able to move through this and she will be able to celebrate the birth of her new child and she will have an amazing life after this. Gabby Hanna, on the other hand, okay, if she continues to do what she do, is doing, will be very, very much alone, okay? And she will be sitting over here having forced everybody away from her and anybody that was close to her will be side-eyeing Gabby in the future saying, well, she did this to all of these people that she was close with. Will I, do, will I be the next one on the list? Will she do this to me at some point, right? Because I have to believe that when you're watching all this go down, any of us that have had toxic friends, okay? Any of us that have had friends of ours that, um, you know, like have hurt other people or just been incessant in their need to like constantly have this back and forth with somebody. You sit there and you watch it and you think, if the tables were turned, would I be on the receiving end of that? So Gabby Hanna is ultimately pushing everybody away from her in her life, okay? And whether you love her or you hate her, it's a sad, it's a sad prospect because at the end of the day, Gabby Hanna is going to be sitting over there very, very much alone, no matter how right she is. So for those Gabby Hanna fans and stands out there that are saying, yes, but Gabby just wants to be hurt. She just wants her story out. I ask you at what expense and, and, and how much are you a part of that? How much are we all a part, okay, of wanting just to hear somebody's side other than their true happiness, right? Like if you really love Gabby Hanna, and I have to say, I'm pretty emotionally indifferent to her, okay? Um, I think she causes a lot of pain in people's lives, all right? She's not somebody that I would have in my life, period, end of story. Um, but I, I think for those of you out there that love her, Ask yourself, what is it that you loved about Gabby Hanna that has kept you to stick around for so long? Is it her relatability? Is it her story times? Is it her music? Is it her sharing of her journey that she's gone on? Then encourage her to do that instead of encouraging her to tell her truth because her need to tell her truth is getting her absolutely nowhere. So I wanted to go in here. It was interesting. I was uh, listening to this audiobook that I just finished last night and there was a line in it that I loved and it reminded me of Gabby Hanna. And the line was, terrible things happening to you is not an excuse to do them to someone else. And I, you know, I heard that and I thought, you know, this is so amazing. Like, this is such a truism. And I don't think Gabby really gets this, right? That just because all of these people you feel like has done you wrong does not mean that it's an eye for an eye mentality. I didn't realize we lived in that society anymore. You know, I really didn't. And I've said this a lot on my Peterisms channel, and I because that's where I talk about mistakes I've made in my life and growth I've made and changes I've had to make, you know. It would be real easy for me to get on camera and say, and this person did this, and if you knew what this person had done to me, if you had any idea what this person had done to me, you would look at that situation and go, oh my God, oh wow, I see it in a completely different way, right? You know, but at some point, the whole time that I am so consumed, spending all this time and energy on telling on somebody else, is time that I am taking away on working on myself. And I think it's very obvious to anybody watching this whole situation go down, Gabby Hanna has spent very little time working on herself. I don't really care what she says. I don't really care what she talks about as far as how much work she's done. Somebody that has done any kind of work whatsoever and has any kind of insight or introspection to their own life would look at this and realize, I am kind of hurting other people at this point at the need to be right. And I'm just not really sure I'm willing to put that kind of pain out there into the world anymore. Even in watching Jesse Smiles' video, Jesse Smiles who, you know, like, I, I'm sure doesn't want to be painted the picture of the victim in the situation, but for me, from my perspective, okay, to have to relive this trauma over and over and over again, and um, the, the people that make excuses for this, like, I, I really, I, I, and I'm going to give you an example in a second, I really don't understand, like, what reality you live in, um, if, if you were in that seat as well, right? But, you know, in watching all this, Jesse Smiles even took a lot of ownership in her videos about things, you know, and said, yes, I did this, and yes, I did this. The things that Gabby Hanna was unable to do in her video, Jesse Smiles did in hers. And I actually think that the juxtaposition of, Ga of Jesse re reacting to Gabby's video with Gabby over here, okay, and you can see her, like, going on and on and on and showing, you know, all this kind of stuff, and then Jesse's sitting over there, and you can just see the humanness in Jesse. I don't think it was intentional. 
But it was interesting to me that in some way you could see them side by side and you could, it just to me, watching that was like, Jesse's just very, very human. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Gabby Hanna did a video the other day. It was not part of her series, but she said that, and that whole part that I just talked about was not my intro. That was all part of this video for those of you that come over here and say, at 10.15, he started the video. But Gabby Hanna did a video the other day and she was talking about Jesse Smiles and she threw up all these screenshots and said that Jesse had threatened her and bullied her and blackmailed her. This term blackmail being thrown around is a lot to me, okay? I'm not really sure that I consider somebody saying, if you don't handle this, I'm going to make a video. I'm not really sure I consider that blackmail, but maybe it is. I don't know, okay? We have now watered down the words blackmail, bullying, narcissism, gaslighting, all of these words <clears throat> that Gabby Hanna has used in the last six months, she has taken any kind of power away from, any kind of definition. She has watered them down to the point where they really don't mean anything anymore in context to Gabby Hanna. Um, and it, it just is really, really sad to me because, it, you know, there is going to be a point when I think we look at certain situations with Gabby Hanna and go, okay, she is right in this situation, but... There's 20 other situations over here where she's not, you know? And it, and for me, in watching all this... So anyway, Gabby Hanna put the video out. Jesse Smiles made an hour-long response reacting to the video and watching the video, okay? And at the very end of it, she gets kind of heated. Before she uh, put the video out, Jesse Smiles put... The, I know this is all over the place, you guys, but for me, it's just kind, it, it kind of is that. Um, Jesse Smiles put this tweet out, and she said, I want to say before the video goes public, I am very emotional and angry in it. I'm usually much better at composing myself. I really did try to stay calm, but I'm sorry in advance for any parts where I just couldn't. And, you know, Jesse, I just want to say, you know, gal, hold your head up high, sweetheart. You know, um, you should not have to be living this over and over and over and over and over again, okay? At the expense of Gabby Hanna wanting to tell her truth, all right? And, you know, what was interesting to me was <clears throat> when I read this tweet, immediately underneath this tweet, hold on a second, I want to make sure that I get it right, someone said, this has to stop. Everyone keeps saying how hurt they are and how they just want this to end, but you're both playing a have the last word game. Someone has to end it and just stop. And there were several responses under that. But, you know, I thought, like, if this was you, like, I say this in videos, and I don't know if this just goes over people's heads, but, like, really think about this for a second, okay? If this were you, and, and you had had to live with what Jesse had, had to live with, let's talk about this for a second, okay? Because nobody's talking about the fact of what the truth is, okay? Everybody wants to talk about the fact that Gabby versus Jesse and this Gabby talking about Jesse's traumatic experience. Here's the truth, okay? Jesse came out and shared what had happened to her. Nobody believed her, okay? And Gabby has even admitted this and said, everybody except for myself was against you. All right. So let's remove Gabby from the situation. Applause to you, Gabby, for being a good friend during that situation, if that is the truth, okay? You have to remember, okay, in the court of public opinion, Gabby Hanna herself has claimed that she is a prolific liar and that she makes up situations to fit her narrative. She did it with Bo Burnham. She has it on a video called My Most Embarrassing Secrets where she made an entire Facebook account just to act like she was dating this guy, which then went on to change his Wikipedia page so that it had her name on there that she was dating him. The lengths that she will go to to prove a point that is not even true is unbelievable to me. You have to remember that in the court of public opinion, okay? Who is truthful in this situation, Jesse versus Gabby? I think if we looked at all of Gabby's lies and her inconsistencies with keeping stories straight versus Jesse's, I think the court of public opinion wouldn't have much time out in court, so to speak, right? So I'm watching all of this go on and I'm thinking, okay, well, first of all, so this happened to Jesse. The, the fact that it happened to her, okay, is horrific enough. Then she tells people and nobody believes her. None of her peers in the YouTube community believe her, all right? None of them. Gabby has turned this into, and I was the only one that supported you, and nobody liked me because of what had happened. Nobody liked you because of what had happened to Jesse. What happened to Jesse? Not what happened to you, but what happened to Jesse, which I loved in Jesse's video, because she owned Gabby in this video. Let's just be for real, okay? And she was talking about another situation where she had come out and she wouldn't even talk to somebody because of the allegations against them. Which is exactly what Gabby should have done. Instead of going over and over and over again defending what she's doing, right? So then, okay, Gabby goes on this battle to prove who is right 
in this war of DMs, emails. Did you guys see these, e these emails, okay, in Jesse Smiles video? I wouldn't read an email that long from Gabby Hanna. I'm sorry, I just wouldn't, okay? At that point, gal, you ain't got nothing to say to me, but I am sorry, Jesse Smiles, period, end of story, okay? Of which we still have not heard, and we know that it's gonna be in at least one, maybe two parts of this Gabby Hanna series. It's, they're still gonna be coming, more coming out when Jesse has begged, she begged her on Twitter, please don't talk about this anymore, okay? And Gabby Hanna, she doesn't care. She keeps on talking about it, right? So I don't know where women supporting women happens within the YouTube community, but when I'm sitting there listening to all this, I am like, I am so, y'all want the dream of YouTube and move out to California for what? These people sell each other up the river in a heartbeat, all right? It is so sad to me. And I, and I just like, this whole situation, I'm watching this and I'm like, this poor gal has to continue to live this over and over and over and over again. So anyway, let me get back to my notes for a second so I don't forget the things I wanted to say. Um, I said, uh, to Jesse Smiles, hold your head up high, like I had said. You should never have had to defend yourself in the first place. I'm sorry you ever felt the need to defend yourself. Um, it was unfair, unjust, and never, it was never her place to put that on you in the first place. It wasn't. Gabby should have shut her mouth, okay? She, Gabby, Hannah should have shut her mouth when it came to this situation and said nothing except for that I am sorry that you went through this and any participation that I had. We don't need to know about the participation. We don't need to know about the phone calls. We don't need, that should have happened between you and Jesse on that three hour phone call and should have been stayed there, okay? And I understand people are like, well, Jesse came out and she did this. Wait a second, wait a second, okay? Y'all are forgetting this BuzzFeed article that Gabby Hanna did. That not only that, Gabby talked about doing a photo shoot at that uh, photo, that, that BuzzFeed article. She uh, tweeted that article out. She talked about this article nonstop, this interview, which also started crap up between her and Trisha Paytas again. And it also talked about the Jesse Smiles situation in there. And Jesse said in her, in her video, if anybody came to her and said that she didn't, you know, and Gabby didn't want to talk about it, all Gabby had to say was, I'm not going to talk about uh uh, Jesse Smiles and uh, uh, Curtis Lepore. She chose not to do that. Gabby Hanna chose to throw herself in the middle of the fire and now is pissed that she's there, okay? And if it were me, and I'm sorry, y'all can disagree with me all day long, I'd do exactly what Jesse Smiles did do and I'd throw that video up there. I would, of the telephone call, and be like, here, y'all want it? Here's all of me. Take all of me. Now you got it, okay? Make your, make your decision. And I loved at the end of it when she said, I'm not addressing this again. I'm done. I'm moving on, right? So then I went on and I uh, wrote down, uh, <laughs> well, it auto-corrected Gabby to, gra to, to grannies. Um, the ending of Gabby's video where it just stopped, I was like, this is such manipulative editing. Such manipulative editing. You know, she leaves, she leaves it on this note of, I feel like I've been walking over, you know, uh, mind bombs or whatever she says at the end of the video, uh, forever and whatever. And then it just stops, right? This very dramatic ending to what is supposed to be her just sitting down on a couch talking to her audience. Why did we need that dramatic ending? What was that for? I'm confused. Okay, was that to prove a point? So then um, I talked about, uh, I wrote in here about the, the interest between the juxtaposition of the, the different videos. Gabby's video next to Jesse's reaction to see how human she was. And um, <clears throat> the fact that Gabby Hanna goes in to say that, I mean, this was a part that Jesse brought up and I'm really glad that she did because I don't know that people really, in watching it, it kind of is like so quick that like you don't really get it. Um, so I was glad that Jesse brought this up. The fact that Gabby Hanna, okay, <clears throat> is insinuating that the part of Jesse crying on the telephone call, that Jesse showed that in the clip on the video on Twitter to emotionally manipulate her audience. Now, hold on a second, okay? So, Jesse Smiles took her traumatic experience that she went through and used her traumatic experience to emotionally manipulate. She used it, okay? This painful experience, and I'm sure she never wants to relive over and over and over again, she used it to emotionally manipulate her audience against Gabby Hanna. To think that way would mean that you have the ability to come up with plans like that of your own. So that thought that Gabby Hanna put on uh, Jesse Smiles isn't something Jesse Smiles would do. 
It is something that Gabby Hanna thought of because it's something that Gabby Hanna would actually do. Gabby Hanna would emotionally manipulate her audience to get them to think a certain way, right? I just was like so blown away. I mean, I was like, the links that you will go to, and it was at this point kind of like when I was like in the middle of Gabby's video, that I was like, you know Gabby, and this is where the fans in the stands are like, no, she's telling her truth, she's telling her truth, and whatever. Like, I don't know, like, when I was out there using before I got sober, I had a friend of mine, and, uh, you know, she basically said, your, your life is going down the drain, and, um, like, I cannot sit by and continue to watch this. So I'm either going to help you get better, or I'm, I'm checking out. And she checked out, you know? And years later, I said to her, I said, you're the only person that was willing to say to me the truth of, like, how out of control my life was. My dad even said to me, he goes, you're pissing your life away and you don't even care, okay? To all of you out there that love Gabby Hanna, I'm not telling you to tell her to shut her mouth or to tell her to, I mean, I said that. I'm not telling you to tell her to do that or not tell her truth, right? But if you really care about Gabby Hanna, what she should have done was this. She should have gotten this video and said, you're right, this needs to end, okay? And I'm not going to further the pain anymore and the suffering of, of Jesse Smiles. And whatever part I had in it, I take totally res total responsibility. I'm not completely to blame in this, but I take responsibility. And Jesse, I'm, I'm sorry for my part. And I won't include you in the series anymore. And let's move on, okay? It A, would have saved her to some degree. B, she would have regained some kind of recognition within the YouTube community of which she cares nothing about whatsoever or her career that she's worked so hard for, or the fans, followers, numbers, subscribers, and views that she constantly talks about, or the YouTube algorithm. She obviously doesn't care about any of that kind of stuff that she has spent her last 10 plus years working towards to just have all of this, right? So when you're a friend or a fan of somebody, don't you say to them, girl, you're throwing it all away, all at the expense of being right? Because, you, you know, and... and I, and for me, it's like, when you watch all this go down, it's like, how can you look at, I mean, would you stand in front of Jesse Smiles, who is defending herself to somebody that is making excuses for the whole situation to do with their trauma, that the easiest thing to do would to back away and say, you're right, I have no part in your trauma. I should shut up, I should have shut my mouth from the very beginning. I'm sorry I listened to this person. I should never have entertained his story. And I don't agree with Gabby Hanna, okay? I don't agree with that whole thing where she's like, you know, like he's a human being and you listen to his side of the story. Girl, what? No. No, that is not how the real world works. It's just not, okay? But she doesn't live in the real world. She lives in the YouTube world. So I went on and Gabby talks about the court of public opinion. And I, this is where I talked about her and the Bo Burnham thing. I wrote it down. Um, I talked about how she could have easily fixed all this by just getting in a video and owning her part. She didn't have to say Jesse was right. She didn't have to say anything about the DM. She didn't have to say anything about the text messages or the email. She didn't have to prove any of that. She could have just got in a video and said, Jesse, for my part, I apologize. Jesse, for my part, I promise it won't happen again. I won't include you in the series. You asked me not to talk about you anymore, and I'm done. Okay? Just for her part. I'm not, and because Jesse took a lot of responsibility for her part if you go watch her video. And if you didn't hear it, go back and watch her video. She did, okay? She talked about all the accusations that Gabby had towards her, and she talked about her part and all of that, and that she wasn't proud of those moments. So, but you don't hear any of that from Gabby, you know? Um, and so then I went in and I said something, I wrote something about after all these people come out and still support her and say she just wants her side heard. Why shouldn't she be able to say her side is what people always say to me, okay? She has said her side. She, Gabby Hanna has said her side in countless videos over and over and over again on Twitter. I mean, it's on podcasts, on Patreon. At this point, you guys, it's ad nauseum. How much does she need to have her side heard? Until everybody in the world agrees with her, you know? I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable at this point. Um, the really sad thing is for all that love her that she will be completely alone at the end is what I was saying. I, and I said Joey and Daniel will go on, Jesse Smiles, you know, all, all of them will continue to grow and thrive and have lives of their own. And Gabby Hanna will... Uh, be completely alone. Now, I want to tell you the reason that I uh, referenced an Ozzy Osbourne song. <laughs> At the beginning of this song, took me back to high school a little bit, crazy train, um, was not just to be cute and funny. No, but there's a lyric in that song that I've loved ever since I was, you know, back in the day. And I went in here and I, and I wrote this late, late, late last night, right before I went to bed, that 
Gabby Hanna wants to be a rock star, but Gabby Hanna is no rock star. Real rock stars inspire and uplift with their words. Rock stars make you feel alive and excited about life. Rock stars make you want to dance and sing and wish you were on stage with them. Rock stars are musical leaders inspiring people with their vitality. No, Gabby, you are no rock star. In the infamous words of the rock legend Ozzy Osbourne and Crazy Train, maybe it's not too late to learn how to love and forget how to hate. But what do I know? I'm just a T-Channel.